the impact of technology by 2030. This is your first time here. Bliss Thoughts is a space where I share my ideas and notions on technology, covering things like artificial intelligence, virtual reality, the metaverse. I discuss the potential and the impact of this so the good and the bad. If that sounds interesting for you, make sure you subscribe for more future content. 2030 is going to be a pivotal year. So today I'm going to go through 10 technologies that I think will have a big impact on the world. Number one, artificial intelligence by 2030 will pass the Turing test. And I know it says the year 2029, but give or take, right? This figure is from Ray Kurzweil, who has a doctor documented 86% accuracy rate when it comes to technological predictions. To pass this test, a human being should not be able to tell the difference between a machine and a human operator, and this is done by asking a set of questions and looking at the answers received. This will be spearheaded by improvements across the whole Artificial Intelligence Foundation. Artificial Intelligence already understands us, and by 2030, some think AI will actually become our companions. Oh, friend! In fact, in the US, many restaurants and companies actually use AI right now to help them out with their work, and by 2030, this will only increase. By 2030, virtual reality screens will be 8K, which is double the amount we're using right now. This means double the pixels. That means we can zoom in and look at the graphics in a much deeper detail. Also, virtual reality games will have zero latency and will have a wider viewpoint, which means we can have a bigger perspective. VR suits are already available, but by 2030, they will become a lot more mainstream and not as price heavy, while other attachments will be included in the body, which will allow overall much deeper experience. Also, by 2030, virtual reality should have transgressed into the digital and the hardware space. This means when you go into a movie, you see bits fly past you whilst there'll be interactive menus and messaging services. Number three, brain machine interfaces. BMIs will be the norm in 2030. BMIs give the user the ability to connect directly to a computer, to share data or control other devices. <laughs> And don't just take my word for it. According to Juniper Research, brain machine interface shipments are set to exceed 25 million by 2030. This report also reveals that BMIs will support the wellness function, like supporting guided meditation and enhancing sleep quality. The possibilities are actually endless. Imagine you was on a team meeting, your manager could tell that you're not actually concentrating. You're fired. I don't think I'd actually sign up to the BMI on that note. But what it does allow is you being able to create a presentation in your brain and having it portrayed directly over there. Now that I'm up for. Number four, 3D printing. By 2030, cells will be used and 3D printed on a microscopic level. And as we further improve this, this will only drastically get better. This feature of printing things faster than ever before will also be replicated within the fashion industry. There could be millions of designs to download via a source code, which makes purchasing your new clothes easier than ever before. Need a new t-shirt? No problem. Get it 3D printed, go make a cup of tea, have a sandwich, come back, presto. Number five, our race to Mars. Now the likes of Elon Musk and NASA and other companies are already working very hard to achieve this. But 2030 looks like a pivotal year for our mission to Mars. And what piece of technology will make this a reality? None other than SpaceX Starship, which is a reusable ship which according to Musk in May 2022 will reach Mars by 2030. Each spacecraft can carry 100 people with private cabins, large communal areas. 2030 could begin the colonization of space. I wanna go. Number six, 6G could replace 5G. This is a terabyte of internet. You could download 142 hours of Netflix in one second. I'm sorry, what? This can also support cyberspace and virtual reality technology. Overall, the user experience, immersion level too, especially considering we're gonna be in this online world, having 6G would ensure a seamless connection with no lag or high ping. Like this. This game is shit. And this will be further boosted by the Internet of Things, which would allow not billions of connected devices, but trillions. Number seven, folded technologies. By 2030, 10% of smartphones will have a foldable screen. This means flexible TV displays and e-books that can be rolled and fit in your pocket. It also means multitasking will be much easier. Who remembers the Nintendo 3DS? How about being able to run multiple applications at once? For example, on one screen, you can have YouTube open and the other one you can have Facebook. Number eight, electric cars. Now, electric cars are nothing new and they've been on the agenda for a long time now, but 
they are definitely becoming more mainstream. By 2030, we could see our roads littered with EV vehicles at a much higher rate. According to a report on the electrical vehicle market update, global automakers are projected to spend more than 515 billion by 2030 to develop and build these electric vehicles. Musk is already working very hard at delivering this by building gigafactories to mass produce these EV vehicles. This also means lowering the use of cars will only decrease the use of fossil fuels. There is currently 14 billion cars around the world, so moving more towards the EV vehicle space will definitely have a positive impact on this. Number nine, medicine in 2030. Something new coming into the agenda, and that is gene editing. Now we do have some hospitals and companies that are trying this, but it's not mainstream. But by 2030, some believe that instead of having multiple vaccines, you can have your genes edited. Most appointments will be done online and through tele-appointments. COVID definitely drove this, but the benefits of this could be quite big. Gone are the days of waiting for hours and hours for a basic diagnosis. This can be done all online in a virtual environment. Wearable technologies will also improve this. According to a report at KPMG, the medical device industry is poised for steady growth with global annual sales forecasts to rise by over 5% a year and reach nearly 800 billion by 2030. These technologies in the future will tell the patient what their oxygen levels are if they have a high temperature. It will let them know if they're in danger Overall, this is automating the process and ensuring the best special care is given when needed. Number 10, smart clothes. According to research and experts, by 2030, smart clothes will be a lot more in fashion. See what I did there? According to Just Style, garments and footwear with integrated sensors that transmit biometric information and other data sets will reach new heights of popularity by 2030 and is set to be worth more than 4 billion US dollars. And we are seeing this transition already. By 2024, at least 10% of people will wear some sort of smart clothes with embedded technology. This chip will be used to transfer the most diverse amounts of information and you are able to access it whenever you want. Companies have already started this. Tommy Hilfinger 2018 launched a line of smart clothing with Bluetooth embedded technology. This is linked to an app and a game which tracks the user's location and gives them activities to get a reward in return. As I said, 2030 is not far at all. So these things are already in process. Of course, the things I mentioned, don't take them as gospel. I'm sure they can change and evolve, but hopefully it gave you some insight and the years progressing up to that. As always, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more future content. And I'll bring some more videos to you guys shortly. Stay safe, speak to you soon.